Welcome to Successful Meetings in English. In Lesson 2, we will discuss the three main purposes of meetings. Different purposes will result in different approaches and language used. Hi. There are three main purposes for most meetings. One is brainstorming. The second is giving out or disseminating information. And the third is reaching an agreement. Surprisingly, many meetings don't have a clear purpose. And so as a result, they are not as successful or as effective as they could be. In this lesson, we will describe these three purposes and then give you some tips and useful English language in an email format. One common purpose for many meetings is to brainstorm new ideas, often in order to solve a problem. Uh, it's important for participants to share their own ideas as freely as possible and then let the group decide which ideas are the best ones. There are many different ways to run a brainstorming meeting and in lesson eight we will look at one uh, particular method in detail. A second common purpose for meetings is to disseminate or give out information. In order to do this, the facilitator needs to bridge the gap between the new information and what the participants know already. In order to do this, the facilitator needs to speak clearly and logically and make sure that the participants really do understand the information fully. Perhaps the most important but most difficult goal or purpose of a meeting is to reach an agreement and for the group to take a decision. Um, taking a decision can be very difficult because not everyone may agree uh, with the decision. And this means that a facilitator must be a very skillful leader. In some organisations, a very strong facilitator may take all the decisions and his or her opinions are the most important. However, in this course, we will assume that the aim is for the facilitator and the participants to come to the best agreement together. Now you know the three main purposes for a meeting. And what we want to do next is to show you how to prepare for the meeting. It's an important job for the facilitator to prepare the participants to run the meeting in the most effective way. This includes calling for a meeting, setting the agenda and sending any relevant information. This will help the participants do their own preparation for the meeting. In the following slides, we will show you some emails which have useful language for this kind of preparation for each different kind of purpose, for brainstorming, uh, giving out information and reaching an agreement. In this email, participants are asked to attend a brainstorming meeting. Dear all, I want to hold a meeting about new product lines. I hope we can generate as many ideas as possible in this brainstorming meeting. Please bring at least five ideas to the meeting. No idea is a bad one. If you can bring any concrete images, that would be even better. Language in the mail that is useful for brainstorming includes Generate as many ideas as possible. Bring at least five ideas. No idea is a bad one. Other useful phrases could be We'll meet to come up with ideas. I'd like each team to suggest one possible answer. Please come up with potential solutions to the problem. In our second example, the facilitator explains that the meeting purpose is to update participants. Dear all, I want to hold a meeting to update you on our new factory in Vietnam. I want to share specific information about costs and projected income so that you can prepare your teams for Vietnam. Please see the attached document that we will discuss. Language in the mail that shows it is an information meeting include to update you, share specific information about. Other useful language could be give you details, keep you in the picture about, let you know about. Our final purpose is to make a decision. Here is our example email invitation. Dear all, I'd like to meet to decide the marketing strategy 
for our new ISW model for next year. It's time to finally decide which strategy to go for. We will have final presentations by two firms, Stream and Trendy. Please prepare any questions your section might have for the two presenters. Language in the mail that shows it is about decision making includes I like to meet to decide. It's time to finally decide. Other useful language could be We have to choose the best solution. The meeting is to finalize the details for. By the end of the meeting, we need to select the two best options. In this lesson, we have learned that we need to clearly understand the different purposes of a meeting. Think about recent meetings you have been to, or ones you're going to soon. Was the purpose of the meeting clear? Do you think others had a clear understanding of the purpose? How could the purpose have been made clearer? See if you can observe these points when you attend a meeting. And if you're a facilitator, keep practicing these points and try to communicate them clearly. There is a checklist to help you. Good luck!